Here we have a zoomed up focus on our home menu. You see the word home here and it's got all of your basic features that you will need to edit any movie that you make. So we are focusing on adding our own narration to a movie today. So we're going to be using a lot of the features that you see on your screen. We first will be using the add videos and photos button. That's where you find your file that you need to import into the Windows Movie Maker. And then we will also be using the record narration. That's got a drop down menu that says record and it's really simple and easy. Now we are going to import the video into our Windows Movie Maker. Clicking on Add Videos and Photos, you need to find the location where you have saved the video or photo of your choice. Now I have organised all of my files really neatly so I know exactly where to find them. I'm going to import a video today, so double click to open the folder and I'm going to import the file Oh Say Can You Say by Dr. Seuss. So I'm going to double click on that and that will open the file and you will see it here in the dashboard. To start recording, click on the record button. This is the section where you speak your recording into the microphone. Once you have finished recording, click on the stop button. After clicking on the stop button, you will need to label your narration. It will automatically want to label it with the time and date. However, I find it really easy to put a number there and putting it in order from the last recording that you have made. Then click on save. You will now see that there's an orange bar underneath the dashboard of video and that orange bar indicates your recording. The sound waves in your recording is evident by the dark orange spikes in the orange narration bar. If you want to cut sections of your recording, click on the recording, then click up on the orange narration tools. It's handy that it's the same colour as the recording line down here. Click on the narration tools and then you can see the split button is greyed out at the moment. Once we press play on our recording, we can then split it at the section that we want to. So we press play And then if I wish to split it at this point, I press on the button split and it now puts the recording into two separate parts. I click on the part that I wish to delete, I right click and I remove. That removes the blank space with the starting of the recording at the couple of seconds after. If you wish to move your recording to a different part of your movie, simply click and hold and drag it to the location where you wish your recording to start from. To add music to your movie, make sure that you have clicked the Home tab and then click on Add Music. Scroll down to the words that say add music and that will open a dialogue box where you get to select the music file you wish to insert into your movie. I am inserting car music to go over the title pages. So click on that and click on open. You will now see a green sound box that goes across with the green sound waves. The green sound waves are connected to the music. Once again, the orange ones are still there for the narration. 
what you can do is has the music on in the background if you choose to you just need to control the volume so you can still hear the narration over the top so to control the volume of your music double click on the music green tab or you can click on the music tools up the top it will take you to the same location this is your music toolbar over on the left hand side is music volume to have it at a low volume if you wish to still hear the recording over the top you need to turn down the volume of the music by dragging it lower if you wish to have it as a music film clip with no narration over the top and music is the main feature you can have it louder however for this project because I want music as the background I'm going to have the music at a much lower volume so it's on in the background you can still hear the recording of the narration but the music helps to add atmosphere and mood now I am going to show you how to edit the length of your film clips double click on the video in your dashboard that will bring up the video tools tab the two tools that we will be using is the split tool which divides one video clip into two or as many parts as you would like and the trim tool helps you to tidy up the start and the finish points of those clips so first we're going to focus on the split tool you will notice that it's grayed out at the moment to utilize this split tool you will need to play your video pressing play I then move my cursor back up to the split and wait for the cursor in the dashboard to move to the area where I need to be splitting the video into two separate chunks I press split the cursor stops and now you can see I've got one part of the video and the second part of the video is separate that means that I can move the first part anywhere that I choose I can put it at the end I can put it at the beginning I can move it any which way I want so the split tool has divided one video clip into two and now I will show you how to use the trim tool by clicking on the video clip that I wish to trim I can then click on the trim button down underneath the preview window you can see that the trim tool has identified the starting point and the finishing point if I wish to edit the end of that clip I can drag it a little bit earlier and then I can press on the progress bar press play and double check that the clip is playing to my satisfactory standard once I'm happy with the clip and that the trim tool has worked its magic I click on save trim To add visual effects to your video clips, click on the visual effects tab. Here presents a suite of options. You can select the drop down menu to see them all. You've got artistic filters, black and white filters, cinematic filters, mirror filters, motions, and fades. There are many different techniques to add visual effects to your videos. Today I'm going to show you how to turn your video clip into a black and white. I click on the section that I wish to turn black and white. I've got a number of black and white options to choose. I'm going to choose this one. I click on it. Then in the preview window, I can have a preview of what it now looks like press play for a full preview
However, if you wish to decide that that is not the type of visual effect that you are after, of course you can select a different one. There are so many ones to choose from. But if you decide that you no longer want any visual effects, click on the blank filter. The no effect box is the first one. That will bring your film clip back to the original state. The next thing that you are going to learn is how to insert titles inside of your movie. Make sure that you've got the home tab open and then click on title. I use titles to divide different sections of the movies that I make. I click on the word title and it brings me to an open box. This text box is where I'm going to put the title of the name of my movie and this movie is titled Tongue Twisters by Dr. Seuss. I can change the colour of my text by highlighting the text and up here the A has a drop down menu of all sorts of different colours you wish to choose from. I find that white writing works really well on a black background. However, there is the suite of options available to you as well as more colours if you wish to get more technical. So I'm going to select a yellow for the purpose of this exercise, which also really stands out on a black background. I can adjust where I put my text box by clicking and dragging. I can also select a different font by selecting the drop down menu and choosing a different type of font. I can also adjust the background colour by clicking on background colour and the drop down menu once again. I can change the background colour and change it to purple. And there we go. Tongue Twisters by Dr. Seuss really stands out. And that is the title to the movie clip. You can, you can adjust how long you want the text to go for and how long you want your title page to go for. The text duration is here. You can adjust it at the moment. It's currently seven seconds. If I wish to have it at five seconds, I'll just put the number five in there. Press enter. Press play to preview. As you can see, the text is much shorter than the actual box itself. To make them the same duration, double click on the box and make it the same length as the text. So the text was five seconds. I'm also going to make the background color five seconds as well and then press enter. Now it will be the same length. Thank you for watching my tutorial on how to do some basic techniques in the Windows Movie Maker program. If you wish to experiment using these tips, please revisit the video anytime you need.